Hey guys, today we are at Lake Bled, which is a hidden pearl of Slovenia. It's an alpine lake and we will walk all around it and join me and you will see how this looks like. Uh -oh. Big Joe! Cheap travels. Travel on a budget. This is the parking where you can leave the car, but the parking is payable. You have to find like park machines and pay for one hour, two hours, and then you can go around the lake. Here, usually on the weekends, you have like home produce marketplace. You can also park there. And yeah, this is Lake Bled. <laughs> lake Bled. <laughs> As I told in my previous video, the correct pronunciation of this place is Blade, not Blad. <laughs> and uh, we have Blade Church behind there. And some little house. So here are the rules. Slovenia is full of rules, you know. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, so, the plan today is to walk all around the lake, so this is our starting point, there is the main city, well, that's what is of the city, and we'll walk, 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 all around there, 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 and back here. So, the whole length is about 6 kilometers, and yeah, let me show you, there's a an island in the middle and there's a church on that island and there are 100 steps you must take to get up to that church <laughs> by the way I worked on a renovation of those stairs, steps when I was a student and we would both them one step at a time it was so heavy so we, here we have some ducks yeah, a little bit of algae ducks there and there's the island, there's the island, here, here. but you will see it many times as from all the perspectives before, because we will walk around the lake and you will see it a lot. And this slope over there, uh, it's like sled, sleds, even in summer, you know, those plastic sleds, you go on the trail doo -doo 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 down. to see the ducks. It can also rent a bike or an electric bike and do this path <laughs> with a bike, but okay. It's a nice walk anyway. And just up there you have Blade Castle on the rock. You will see it better from the other side of the lake. And there's the church. Another church. Not that one in the middle of the island. And this is the tourism of Blade. All those what you see are hotels and restaurants. The tourist infrastructure. Oh yeah, about the castle. It's not free. It's free to go up there and to have some views. But if you want to visit the castle inside, you have to pay a fee.
if you don't want to walk. There are many places by the lake where you can chill out, have a drink. Another popular place if you want to make good pictures or selfies if you climb this mountain here it's called Babi Zop or in English that would be like grandmother's thief or old old lady stiff you know There is, there is fish in the lake and usually uh, there are fishermen over there who fish. <laughs> Once I was walking here and two fishermen were fighting, they were really fighting over that spot there. So I guess that's a good spot to fish. A lot of fish is there. As I told you, we will see the lake island a lot in the church. Yeah, the professional fisherman. Not one rod, three rods. <laughs> Castle Bleed Castle. And there is building on the water. That's a boat house. So they put boats there. And you can also rent a boat and row to the island, to the Bled Island. And I think it was 20 euros or something like that for one hour. Uh, but if you don't like rowing, there are these boats, they're called Pletna, and they will take you. There's one guy who rows there and takes lots of people. Uh, they think they go from somewhere out there and they're from somewhere around there. So two points for that boat to take you to the lake and blah, to the island and back, you know. I don't know the prices, but when we go past those points, we will see how much that costs. So you just sit on the boat and take pictures, and one man will do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> uh, that's the most, more, let's say, convenient way for you not to row there and back, you know. <laughs> if you want to visit the island, of course. There's only a church there on the island. And some bell, you ring the bell for free. <laughs> and yeah. You want to have some ice cream? Homemade. You can get it over there. And there was also like one restaurant up here if you're hungry. And this is the boathouse. And behind this is one of the beach beaches when you can swim in the summer. So one bowl of ice cream here is three euros. 
which is quite a lot if you ask me normal price like in the cities or somewhere it's around one euro one euro fifty maximum and also the boat you can rent it from that guy there I think 20 20 euros per hour maybe in high season they will rise the prices Who knows? so this restaurant is Grajska Plaza which means the castle's beach and you have pizzas, salads, stuff like that there, in the lake view actually one of my neighbors works here as a waiter <laughs> It's a nice day, sunny day, warm. Tomorrow they say it will rain again. <coughs> so, no new videos tomorrow. <laughs> Here, if you want to climb the castle, you just take this little path and climb, 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 all the way up to the castle. Ooh. I'll show you the poster, how it looks like. Uh, it's open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So, see the castle? You take this path to go around the lake. You go here. And we go around the lake. So down there is the, the beach where you can swim because when there isn't beach it's not allowed to swim there so here it's allowed and I will show you like two more beaches three where you can swim Benches here, five minute breaks. <laughs> so this is the view from the bench. <laughs> and it's midday, so all the church bells go off at midday. 12 o'clock. So the church is one that we saw there, and the one there in the middle of the island but yeah, just enjoying the view and resting a little bit and that's how you should do it <laughs> take small breaks when you walk so oh, time to continue the walk Oh, they had some games like chasing color decks for Easter. <laughs> There's some water slide there. This is still from that beach. It's, it goes on and on and on. See? All the way from that uh, boathouse there. So this is one of options if you come here in the summer and want to swim in the lake. It is a little cooler than the sea because it's alpine lake. So 
the water is a little bit cooler than the Adriatic Sea in the summer, but still swimmable. Let's say in July and August, I would swim here. And June, <laughs> maybe still too cold for me. But I like my water a little more warm, like 24 degrees, something like that. Some people swim at 19, 18. Few more geese over there. Ducks, ducks, it's a ducks, it's not geese. <laughs> there, the Platna boat that takes you to the island in the middle of the lake. Ah, that one is actually electrical, I think, because it's going faster and there's no man rowing. So Pletna boats are the ones who don't have an engine. They have only one man power, <laughs> and that guy rows rows all the boat to the to the like to the island. So I think this electric one is cheaper because it's not as as authentic as, as that one over there. Ah, you don't see it, but we will get to the docks where they are where they are stationed, and I will show you what Pletna boat is. Oh yeah, here comes the train, the train, the train. It's actually a tractor disguised as a train, so you can take this small tractor train, and it will take you around the lake. Of course, it's not for free. You have to pay for that. But I don't know the price. As we see, it was empty. So the price is, you guessed it, high, high. <laughs> or no, not so many tourists now, and it's lunchtime. So. The season still didn't start. There's another nice view of the island in the middle of Blade. And another nice bench there with the view of the lake. But it's taken, unfortunately, so we have no choice but to continue our circle around, route, around Lake Blade. Lake Blade, Blade, Blade. There. See, those guys rented a boat. Now they have to do all the rowing themselves. But okay, if you are a couple, I guess that's that can be romantic. <laughs> I'll just let you enjoy sounds of nature. And the squeaking of my shoes. <laughs> Thank you. 
this house here. I think it's some governmental protocolary building. So diplomats, heads of states, they come here to meet to discuss. There's a blackbird. Uh, here, if you're thirsty, free water. Blade has drinking water everywhere. This is new. How do you activate it? Yeah, it's sensor, so you have to do like that. Ah. That's how you do it when you don't have when you don't have the the bottle, you know. So it's good, fresh and cold water. As I showed you, it's drinkable. <laughs> That's all waters are in Slovenia. Well, don't go drink water out of the river, but somewhere you can, but uh in the mountains, it's no problem. You can drink it out of the stream. But that Sava River that we saw in the previous video in Shobet's camping, uh, yeah, you don't drink that. But all the water that comes from, from the pipes is drinkable in Slovenia, so you don't really have to buy bottled water here. You can just fill up your empty bottles with the water from the crane, you know, from the pipe. Oh. Sorry, that house there was not that protocol thing. This one is. <laughs> I mixed them up. So it's called the Villa Zlatorok. Zlatorok is like that mountain goat that lives in the Alps. Alps. So, this is that place. And just on the other side, that place, that used to be Tito's residence, the former uh, president of Yugoslavia. Well, he was still alive. I think he died in 1980. So, until that time, that was his villa. Now, there's a restaurant there and a hotel. So it's quite expensive to stay there.
green, green, green. <laughs> nice green trees because it's spring and in spring all the trees here become greener and more lush, you know. In the winter it's like no leaves, so it looks really boring, but in the spring they look really nice. So I would say the best time to visit Dike Blad is spring or summer. But if you like winter and snow, then even the lake freezes and it has its special charm and the people also like skate on the lake. But autumn, autumn is cold, rainy, no leaves on the trees. Maybe autumn is the worst time to visit. Blade like Otherwise, it's forbidden here for the traffic, but this was like examination of the routes, so I guess they are allowed. <laughs> well, that's that protocol house from the government, which is not open to the public. There you go. I can only show you how it looks from outside. It's like a typical old house from this region. And there it says it was built in 1896. So about 120, 130 years old. But of course, renovated. And there we have these signs that tell you where we go, so. And the times, so. Vishce and Bled Castle, 20 minutes up this road. And Bled Center also there, 10 minutes, if you're May 20. Velika Zaka, that's one of the beaches, 20 minutes. And we will see that. And there's also this Juliana Trail. It's like a trail that leads through all Slovenia from like east to west, from the tall Alps to seaside. It takes, I don't know how many days to make it. And Arnoldove Vishave, Arnold Heights. No idea what that is, something new. <laughs> If you want to know, Google it. <laughs> Arnold's Heights. I don't know, some hill or something, probably. Bird is chirping away. Chirping, chirping. So now we're another viewing point. Mirador of the church and the island there. <laughs> they should cut out my tree. <laughs> it's ringing but our view so you can see the church there. And Tito's residence on the other side of the lake. Here, 
the forest is too dense to see the church and the island in the middle of the lake but don't worry once we go on that side there will be some nice views of the church and the island this maybe another path to the castle no to reach it 15 minutes wish 10 minutes and then there very kazaka there and Tarnold heights whatever that is there's like an opening and you can see the island again and the church on the island there you go, there you go! Blade Island. And here's some, again, informational table, posters on, on the plants and stuff like that. If you're interested in the plants. <laughs> There's another beach, just over there. So you can swim in that area. It's an open beach, you don't pay for to use it. Because that one behind there, I'm not sure if it's free or not, but this one is for free. And another one is here that's also for free. So it's like open beach. And here we have a fisherman, camouflaged. Again, if you want to fish here, you have to buy a permit, and that costs a lot of money. It's cheaper to buy fish. But if you are a sportsman, yeah, you do it for sports. And here's the water that comes from the mountain. Can you see it drop? There's a chopper there. I don't know, somebody's stuck in the mountains. Or is, is it a military chopper? Who knows? It's making a lot of noise. <laughs> so, go away, chopper, go away. Another good, maybe, fishing spot here. It's not allowed here to swim on this, but there's a beach just like. 500 meters ahead and it's allowed to swim there there, that's the beach where you can swim we also do rowing here like rowing competitions but now I don't see anybody training today. So this house here. It's from fisherman family, so I think you can buy the the permit to fish from them. And another 
view of the island and the church. But yeah. One, it's called Fishing Club Blade since 1953. <laughs> and they've been catching fish since 1953. <laughs> uh, sorry, it sounds funny. <laughs> like men didn't fish before. <laughs> oh my god. So here we have another rent a boat. If you want to row to the to the island, to the Blade Island. Or you can rent a sub, you know. If you want to pedal, like on a surfboard. So I did it in this house, up these stairs. Oh, don't ask me for a price. Yeah, ask me for a price. So, one hour, 20 euros. Extra hour, 10 euros for the boat. And if you rent a sub, one hour, 10 euros. And extra hour, 10 euros. You can rent a bite, bike to six hours of bike rental is 20 euros and full day will set you back 35 euros there's some water that comes from the hills and goes into the lake and here we have the boats and a nice view of the island and the church but to make pictures nicer with the boats and the island you go this side and you make a pick like this but now the sun is there or a pick like this maybe And you listen to the sounds that the boats make when they hit the pier. Oh, don't get killed here. And there is the the Mala Zaka or Velika Zaka. I don't know, some is Mala, the other one Velika, or it's the other way around. I hope there's some signs there so I don't mix it up. Yeah, so in this house you rent the boats. Because if you rent it over there in the beginning, I think if you're from here to there, you can make it in an hour there and back because it's less less nautical meters, <laughs> how do you call that? <laughs> less miles. There's not so many tourists, which is good, more peaceful, except for that helicopter back then. But okay, here we have another path off road if you want. So this gun goes to Vishce and Terechica. So, about 15 minutes up here, you get to. A small mountain, I would say. And this is the beach where you can swim in the summer. It's a free beach, so anybody, anybody can use it, public beach. And behind you have like a bar and a small tavern where you can have some snacks. But bear in mind, 
if you eat in places like this usually the, the prices are a bit higher because this is like a very touristic spot so but at least the food is fresh <laughs> Do we have a swimmer yet? No. <laughs> that guy's just thinking of jumping in or sunbathing. So on each pier I see people sunbathing, but nobody's swimming yet. It's beginning of May, so the water is still too cold. Even for northern people, you know, like Swedes or I don't know, Norwegians. Latvians. <laughs> I was on seaside, or Lithuanians. I was on seaside in Lithuania once. In the middle of summer, you know, it was like July. And of course, it was hot outside. And I wanted to sw swim in the Baltic Sea, you know. <laughs> it had 16 degrees Celsius. Of course, I almost froze my ass, ass off. <laughs> so this one is warmer, definitely warmer than the Baltic Sea. <laughs> so see, there's a sign like there that says no swimming here, because after that fence there, then is the beach and there the swimming is allowed. touristic uh, train <laughs> uh, so for adults five euros is the price for children three euros if you want to if you don't want to walk if you want to take the train around the lake and here another river that is coming into the lake there you go Another Zen moment. <laughs> and there it goes. Into the lake. Any fishes? No. No fishes. So, we are now entering the public beach. Mala Zaka, maybe? Or Velika Zaka. <laughs> or just Zaka the name of this beach. Let us see the piers because from there we have a nicer view of the um, church. Let us check it. Still no fishes. <laughs> Let us check the, the, the pier. It's muddy here. Let's go on the grass. And from there, we'll make a nice pick. Uh. So I'm out of here. <laughs> Floor hold me or I will fall into the lake. That would be something, huh? And there are people sunbathing. Whoops. 
It's a little bit shaky, this wood. So I better get back to the shore. <laughs> Some flies attacking me. Minute break. <laughs> yeah, but I will not sit there on the pier. It's too shaky for me. So this is the rowing center where the our Olympians practice. There's another nice shot of the island and the church. Oh yeah, this is the Lake Bled rowing course. And they won like gold medals, silver medals, bronze medal on different Olympics. Ah, yeah. Another statue left from socialism of a worker. So power to the workers. <laughs> and there, in the touristic part, the hotels and mountains behind it. So it's 23 degrees Celsius now. Well, actually, the prices are okay here, you know, like for Cevapcici, that's like meat sticks in the bread, you pay six euros, and for a sausage, two pieces, seven euros, chicken filet with bread, seven, it's like Serbian cuisine, yeah. like a hamburger meat in the lepinha in the bread, it's seven euros. Normal hamburger, six euros. The panini sandwich, four euros and a half. Oh, sure, okay prices actually. Let's see this worker. <laughs> What's that in his hand? Who knows? Uh, I found my bench and I will rest there like five minutes and then we will continue the walk around Blade Lake. Oops, there's the island. Let us continue. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you about a famous cake that if you come to cake, if you come to bleed, you have to care, have it. So it's called Blaiska Kremschnitta. It's like a cream cake with some sweet cream, cream on top and some waffle. If you will have it in a restaurant, it will be a bit more expensive. If you want a cheaper option, you go to any bread bakery here and they will sell them. Or in some sweet shops, a little more expensive. The cheapest ones you can buy in bread bakeries or in the city center. And they are just the same as <laughs> in the ones in the restaurant. You know. So, Krim Schnitta. Blade cream cake. Yeah, and 
another like fishing spot. But maybe not too many fishes here because if people swim here, maybe it's not a good fishing spot. I don't know. I'm not a fisherman. Another nice view of the church and the lake in the island. Island. Again, some less trees, and you can see the island. But don't worry, from the other beach that we are going to now, that's a good place to take pictures of the island and the church. Horse coming. I think the whole carriage is coming. So you can also rent those if you don't like the tractor taking you around the lake. But this is more expensive. Of course, Russians or Ukrainians, they take the expensive things. <laughs> and here in the wall, you have Jesus, Jesus. So it's like an altar in the rock. So good views here because of the green trees. <laughs> but believe me, in the summer you will be thankful for these green trees because they put shade here and it's more bearable to stand the high temperatures. In the summer it's about around 30 to 35 degrees here the air temperature but it can get all the way up to 40 and here one opening for picture taking
Darn. The bench I wanted to sit on is, is taken. And there, there's also a nice view on the lake, uh, on the island. The bench is liberated. Now I have to conquer it, conquer it. <laughs> uh, there, the path there for the rowing competition. And here's also a nice view of the church island. Up there. So this is the other beach there, which is free and public beach. Darn it. No more free bench. So this is the view from up here. This bench is even better <laughs> to enjoy the views of the island. You can also access the water, but here it's still not allowed to swim, but in the, that area you can. And here, in this tribune, it's for watching the competitions of those boat rowers. There's a toilet there, but I think it's not free, you have to pay for it. Uh, but, nice view of the castle here. And uh, the island. So a nice picture taking place. Make selfies. <laughs> a little dog. <laughs> so there. Have a small pier where you can sunbathe or just sit on this improvised stadium for the row rowing competition, boat rowing competition. So let us see the beach. Oh, here's the toilet, but it's payable. See, I think it's about one euro. If you really have to go, otherwise you can. I think there's a bar there, and in the bar you can use it for free. And there's one plate in a boat. I'll show you when we get closer. But this is not a normal 
renting route, let's say. So I think it's just there for show. Sprinklers, so the grass will be green. <laughs> and another boathouse. And I think it's like a private one, maybe from this house. So, Villa Solnichnitsa. Solnichnitsa. Let's go. Well, this is another parking on this side that you could use if you come here in the summer to be just to to go swimming in the lake. You can park there if it's not full. Of course, it's payable. And this is the other beach. I don't know Malazaka or Velikazaka. One of those. <laughs> There's like a supermarket there, and behind that, there's like camping. So, this is a good spot to get the mountains, the castle, and the lake uh, island with the church. So, from this spot, you can capture all of the lake blood. Blade, blade. <laughs> now you got me saying it, you know. <laughs> and also the boathouse, you see. You can capture. And this boat is Platna boat that is dri driven by one man who rows, and maybe 20 people. So it's a really hard job. But they make a lot of money. I think from one person at least 20 euros. So, do the math. <laughs> it pays off to be strong in Slovenia. <laughs> but not anybody can do it. They have like special union for that and they don't let anybody else do it. So, they're the only one allowed who can do it. Don't think you can make money that way <laughs> of coming to Slovenia and rowing. <laughs> they will not allow you. It's like a boat mafia, you know. <laughs> Oh, this is the place where you can sunbathe, swim. Right now there's some algae. <laughs> Not really pretty sight, but let's hope that clears up by the summer. So, another nice picture taking place. And as I told you, behind there, there's camp, camp blade, I think. And you can camp there with a tent or with a van. It's not as beautiful as camp Shobets, but I think it's cheaper. Because that camp Shobets is five star, and this is like maybe three stars. But here, just next to the beach, and that's good. So here we have the mountains, the castle, and there, the lake, the island behind there. And that strange looking building there, it's like for judges to observe the competition and judge by the way. I think we are now about halfway around the lake. So, another three kilometers to go. <laughs> For me, that's one hour. Okay, a little less. 
Oh, there's the camping back there. And there's the archery. You can shoot the bow there. I don't know what, what else they do there. Mostly for archery. Yeah, a good picture taking place for the castle. Blade Castle. If you don't see it, it's here. like exercises you can do in this thing for eye coordination and stuff like that it's a little nicer water there's only algae by the shore but if you see there it's like magical green color <laughs> so you do a picture like this <laughs> now I always show you how it is. I don't sugarcoat it, so as you see, there is algae here around the shoreline. But otherwise, this is a nice picture taken. Oh, there's one woman in the, the lake. <laughs> there. <laughs> Must be British. <laughs> anyway, it's a good picture, that picture taking place from this side of the beach and the boathouse and there of the castle if you go a little down oh I'm showing you all the selfies <laughs> good picture taking posts <laughs> let's take a selfie tour around the lake <laughs> So this road is open for the traffic and we, from this road you get to that parking lot for this beach. Ooh. I think you can also rent boats here in this building if they're open. When they're open. <laughs> because yeah, down there, you can rent the boat down there. Because this sign says boat rental. That's a big tractor. And now, soon, we'll go and walk on the water. <laughs> yeah, not really, but on wooden pier. That goes close to the water. Yeah. It's also a good picture taking point for the island and the church. But the best picture from the island and the church, because you also get the stairs, the hundred steps that lead up to the church, is from that part of the lake. So yeah, we really have a <laughs> selfie walking tour. <laughs> selfie point walking tour, because I, I don't take selfies. You know? <laughs> Sometimes it has to be something really special. <laughs> okay. So these are the steps. You don't have to walk here if you don't want to. You, know? you can walk by the road and you will come to the same place because now we go down and we come up and just more interesting here I think and they just did the new steps and new tiles this so it's pretty sturdy now <laughs> so I won't fall inside and yeah see uh, they should have made this bigger so you could also see the beach there 
And there we have the castle there and the lake. And the, <laughs> the lake is all around. <laughs> the island, come on, guys. <laughs> Usually you can see fish here. So let's see any big fish. No, maybe we'll find them along the way. You can usually spot them. And this is a nice bench that's calling my name. Big Joe, come and sit on me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you win. <laughs> and this is also a nice picture taking place. <sighs> to enjoy the nature and the lake. watch the tourist pass you <laughs> but as I said today not many tourists ah another thing don't come here on Saturday or, or Sunday because it's filled with people especially if it's a nice days you know when Slovenians don't know where to go they say let's go to Blade <laughs> so it will be filled with people on the weekends if there's a nice weather. But it's beautiful. That's why they call it the hidden pearl of Europe. <laughs> Blit Lake. Yeah, there's one of those boats, the boat mafia, as I told you. <laughs> you see the man rowing there, one man, but only three people, so he doesn't really have. Uh, uh, have a job to do, you know. And those are the renta boats, which you can rent from there. And I think this is the closest point to the to the to the island. So from there, you row there. <laughs> you will get least tired from rowing. <laughs> so I think this, they have the same price as about twenty euros per hour. And then each additional hour, 10 euros more. If you're one time here, I suggest you go there. If you don't like rowing, take one of those men to take you. <sighs> Relaxing. Zen moment. You can listen to the lake splashing against the shore. Just behind me. <laughs> Under me. <laughs> oh, this path goes like... 150 meters, then we are back on solid ground. So, yeah, from there, there's another boat point from the boats that take you to the to the island. Bees attacking me. Go away. Please go away. Ah, go away. Yeah, I must go on because the bee is attacking me. Oopa, oopa. Again, I must walk in the middle of this road because it's a little bit. Do, 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 do. Is there a fish? No. Because it's a little bit. Uh, questionable <laughs> you know the wood can break under me <laughs> but there's like a line here that's holding them together so it's safest to walk in the middle so this is a similar similar path that we saw on another lake Ah, uh, Schmartinsko Jezero. I made a video about it. You can check my channel, Big Joe Chip Travels, and you can compare it. Well, 
there's no comparison to Lake Glad, but <laughs> here, here's a, another nice selfie. And another bench. Yay. <laughs> Whoopsie. Here. <laughs> That's the wood cracking under me. So if you want to sunbathe, this is the place. And it has a nice view as well. I don't see any fish today. Usually I can see a lot of big trouts here. <laughs> so this path is not new. <laughs> Only the first, the first path, well, part of the path they changed, <laughs> but not this one. This is like picture taking promenade, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm amazed that no no people here today. <laughs> it's good. from here you have another nice spot to take pictures and now we climb the stairs there's the train again this time, it's two people. <laughs> Another nice bench to admire the island, the castle. And I think somewhere around here, you take the path up to the forest to go to that. Um, as a Babi Zop or Grandmother Steve, when you can make nice aerial pictures of the lake. But it's quite a climb. So if you're in good condition, you go up there. here but only on the other side that's another nice picture Oh, if you come, you can also come here by train 
but the train station is somewhere over there on high ground so I have to walk down and then all the accommodations are usually there on the other side so maybe it's better to take a bus here because the bus station is somewhere there in the city center so I think this is the path to just to be sure I don't want to get killed by car no, so here you go to Oistritsa, 25 minutes, and to Vilika Osojnica, 45 minutes. So it's another hill. It's not that one that I told you is best for picture taking. But there's another path there, so maybe that's the path. I don't know because I haven't been up there. It's a big climb, you know. And if you're planning to using a drone here, let me tell you it's not allowed. If you want to use a drone here in Slovenia, you have to get like a special permission from some aviation agency, you know, I don't know what. So if you use a drone, just be careful not to get caught by police or somebody. Because <laughs> it's not allowed, it's not allowed, it's not allowed. So your other option is to climb this thick forest up there <laughs> for that perfect picture. Yeah, this is another nice spot. You have to kneel down and you get a nice blade lake picture with the island and the castle behind and the church behind <laughs> and the mountains and the water. And maybe some boat. <laughs> oh, I'm tired, man. Oh, man. I already walked about four kilometers there in Shobet's camping grounds, and now six more here. I'll die today. <laughs> Ten kilometers. Here you get in the picture also this water plants. So that's the selfie pointer. <laughs> if you want to catch the church and the castle and the little church we find. Let me show you. See? <laughs> but there's some algae there, so you have to make it like this. <laughs> point <laughs> official one <laughs> otherwise if you come to Lake Blit you should also go to Lake Bochin which is from the main road about 20 kilometers that way and that's like I call it Slovenian Caribbean you know because of the sea of the of the lake something like that like like light green turkeys and it's more 
more nature place than this. This is more touristical. And that one is like more, more inside the nature. There's no big cities, just small houses. And it's bigger lake than this, also Alpine Lake. And it's surrounded with tall mountains. And yeah, we'll do once a video about it, but that's like 10 or 12 kilometers to go around. So better to do it with a bike or something. But it also has a beach, a nice beach where we can take a swim there. In the summer, of course, not now. <laughs> so from July to August, the temperature of the sea, of the lake is perfect. Also of the sea, of the Adriatic Sea. But sometimes even mid-June is already warm enough to swim. So, do you see that wall down there? That used to be former president of Yugoslavia, Tito, until 1980, when he died. This was his residence, so. and this part of the shore was closed to the general public. And now you will see how it looks like. Well, it's nothing special, just a wall. <laughs> All the animals in the bushes, I can hear you. <laughs> Probably birds. I don't think there are any bear in this part of Slovenia. Bears. But we have bears otherwise, but not in Gorenska region, I think. So this is the famous wall that protected once Tito's summer residence. How do you call it? Oh, another informational poster about the animal life. So you see otter. And then we have different birds. Birdies, 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 birdies. So yeah, now we are there. <laughs> so there's actually a nice picture taking part here. As I told you, if you want to get a church and the steps, you have to come here. <laughs> so Tito knew what he was doing here. <laughs> taking the nicest place. To take a picture of the church. <laughs> well, nice view. Oh, there's a swan. We can even get a swan in the picture. Come on, lift your head, please. <laughs> Let's go see if this is a friendly swan. He will stop, start puffing at me. What do you think? Write in the comments. <laughs> Yeah, he's getting scared of me, but okay. See, you get an extra small in the picture. Flocking his feathers away. He's not laughing at me, and we can also get a duck in the picture. <laughs> There's a duck also.
the other castle, the church, and the stairs. And now he went to sleep, I think. <laughs> Always keep flocking first. Okay, time to go. So this is a selfie post here. like a natural bench here you can sit on these tree roots because the bench there is taken <laughs> and here's the another selfie taking point with less vegetation I got the castle I got the steps I got the mountain <laughs> see <laughs> The selfie tour continues. <laughs> uh, a lot of picture here, but without a castle, yeah. But I told you, we will go around this island. <laughs> you will see this island from all the directions. You can make like free, three D model of it. <laughs> Here's some guy that's saying to himself his paintings of the lake. Let's see if he's here today. So we are back on the regular path around the lake. Whoa. I'm beat. <laughs> and still a few kilometers to go. There's another opening if you want to make a picture with 100 steps. This, there are stone steps, and then we have the church there. And when you go get on top of those stairs, there's like a bell there. You ring the bell and you make a wish. But she mustn't tell that wish to anybody if you want it to come true. Here. I think that's the church tower bell. <laughs> it's not that bell, that wishing bell that I told you about. 
just clock from the church tower. And here, another nice picture, surrounded with trees. Watch out where you step. There's like three, three roots, you know, you can trip over. These are the steps that go up to the Tito's residence, and now it's like that over there, viewpoint mirador. <laughs> so that's the opening covers. If you want to go there for a coffee or something, but be warned, the prices, the prices can be high. <laughs> There's the. Blade Castle with the mountain, and there I saw the painter that's always there. Oh. So if you want to buy a painting, yeah. you can buy it here. For Coxa. For Coxa. Uh -huh. But where do you come from? Slovenia. Slovenia. <laughs> I'm making a YouTube video. Okay, okay. And I will do some commercial for you. <laughs> so if you want to buy buy one picture, it's four euros. Okay, okay. So that's like cheap. Uh, if you want to have a souvenir from Lake Black. It's not souvenir. Don't it's don't artistic about, don't work. Don't think about uh, uh, my work. Uh, a second. One is for you. Yeah. That's all. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> ciao. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> so you have another <laughs> nice place to take a picture of Blade uh, Island. And we continue. I will show you now where where you can get the boats that will take you to that island. So, this is the old Tito residence. There's a restaurant, terrace there, and overpriced drinks and food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit special artist. Artists are always a bit special. Yeah? <laughs> And another picture taking place from this side, from that side. <laughs> Once I brought a friend from Macedonia here, <laughs> he was making picture all the time. Two, two steps, picture, two steps, picture, two steps, picture. <laughs> and yeah, this is a nice picture taking spot for the castle for Blade Castle. So, be careful not to fall inside the water. And then uh, also of this church from this side. <laughs> uh, it's not a souvenir. Of course it's a souvenir. Come on. Where presidents lived, not lived, came to a vacation. <laughs> so it looks like that. And we also have prices. Like here are the prices. So not as expensive as Piran, but yeah, around 20 euros. In normal, normal restaurants, it's about 10 euros, so twice as expensive as normal restaurant. So this is Villa Blit, it's called now. 
and okay it's about the boats and their schedule and now here's some information about the lake and there, the representation and there's maybe a selfie <laughs> another selfie making point uh, it doesn't say the boat prizes okay we'll see from the main boat area which is about whew, two three hundred meters ahead of us and then the most boring part of walk is for me this this here because it goes by the road and there's not much to see but yeah, here's still nice and the castle the blade castle and another boathouse One, one and a half kilometers left to get to the parking ground, to the parking place where the car is. Another look of the island. So this is called Cholnarna Villa Blet, so boat house Villa Blet. And another steps that you can take here. To the restaurant if you go here see it's my steps the stone one there. whoopsie whoopsie doopsie so I think it's open now so five minutes to the nearest island one hour twenty Big boat, 25, additional hours, 10 euros. Picnic boat, two hours, 50 euros. Okay. What's a picnic boat? Maybe they give you food. <laughs> picnic basket, and you have a lunch in the boat. But the day row, the day row, that's not specified. <laughs> you have to inquire inside. So this wall is the other side when the lake was closed, I mean this path. So until Until 1980 for sure, and maybe 10, 20, least 20 years later, it was still closed because the government used this this house, so you couldn't go around the lake at that time. <laughs> I'm still too young to remember. <laughs> Some kind of local legend. Some kind of game. <laughs> oh. So, the boats usually live also from this place over here. There you can rent a boat to take you to, it, to the island as well. And here, nice. Picture taking moment for the castle. And my 
my saver for the next five minutes. Oh, oh, it's very low. <laughs> and there, the full boat. Now that guy has got it hard, but it will be beneficial for him, you know. <laughs> the more people he gets on the board, boat, the more money he gets. So. Of course, he wants to have a full boat. So, and to continue on, our circular path around the Blade Lake. There's one tavern there, and I think they used to have, it was like their speciality, uh, ostrich, ostrich meat, yeah. I don't know if they still have it, but they used to have it. The castle, the island. Here we have a bench with a nice view of the castle. And there's another one there. So you can admire the castle. In the summer, all this green grass, you can like camp, not camp here, put the blanket, sit there, sunbathe. And that's like the pier for Pletna, Pletna boats. Another picture taken for castle. And two two ducks there. Here, lunchy, lunchy, lunchy. <laughs> nice ducks. Want to take a picture? <laughs> Lucky. They're both male because they're colorful. That's how you tell which is female and which is male. Okay, we've uh, I have annoyed them enough. <laughs> so this is the place where you can take the boat to the to the island and back. Another point from different sides. So that's the restaurant where they used to have ostrich meat. I don't know if they still have it. And these are the Pletna boats. Each one has its own name. This one is called Lara. This one is Sonia. This one doesn't want to tell us her name. <laughs> this one is Neja. This one is Larissa. They all have female names because a boat should always have a female name. And this one is Lipa. And this one is Lanika. So we go through this bridge. 
There's the train again. <laughs> the tractor train. Oh. So this is where Lake Bled goes to. Probably Sava River. And there you can have a nice picture from the bridge with Platna boats and uh, the Blet Island. And here in the corner, this is a food, food store. If you're thirsty, hungry, you can buy beer there, water, coca. Cola, <laughs> anything you know, at normal prices, and then you can go and enjoy it there by the by the shore. Oh yeah, this part of the lake, I don't like it very much because it goes next to the road, you know. There's another little restaurant where you also can rent the boats, the boats that are there. And uh, you row, row, row your boat to the island. So they have steaks, pasta, seafood, salads. So here, at this charman house you can also rent. About, I guess they have the same prices as everywhere else, so 20 euros per hour, I would imagine, and then 10 euros every additional hour. The good thing about this side is there's not many trees, so you always have a good view of the island there. But we are next to the road, the buses, the cars. So there's two sides to every coin, you know. <laughs> but I still prefer to walk in the nature surrounded by forests than by the road. Luckily it's a few hundred meters here by the road. few more meters and we'll be uh, a bit away from the road. <coughs> There's the castle over there. And here is also forbidden to swim. Otherwise, if you're a gambler, there is a casino, casino in Bledl City, so if you want to lose your money that way, 
I will show you where it is. There we go. The castle. The castle. Play, play the castle. That's good for the views from up there down to the island and to the lake. But inside, sorry to say, but nothing special. It was renovated, so now it's, that looks good. There's the lake. There's the lake. The lake is there. There's the island. The castle taking selfie. My feet are hurting me. So, <laughs> five minute break. With the view of the castle. So, it's time to continue. Path goes back to the road for a while and then we'll pass the hotel area. There's the casino there in the hotel area and then after the hotel area there's the parking lot. So, oh no, 800 meters, one kilometer left. <laughs> the parking is there close to that church. There's a tunnel carved into pure rock. <laughs> private house with its private boat house. <laughs> I don't know if it's rented out as apartments or people actually live here. I'm not sure. Or it's just a weekend house. Oh, but there's a car there so I guess people do live here. Uh, it's Slovenian place, yeah. I guess they live here.
nice picture taking moment of the castle from here. Not so nice of the island. Maybe two more, 200 meters more, and we will turn left, so no more road, thank God. So this is... Straja Blade, which is uh, ski down downhill skiing here instead of winter, but in the summer you have this sled. Summer tobogganing. We have zipline, adventure park, land of Slovenian folk tales, and there's like summer lounge somewhere there. And a nice view of the castles. <laughs> and uh, they decided to have a picnic here next to the road. Very smart. <laughs> yeah. As I told you, picnic area there where the boats were. It's much quieter and better. There are the hotels, and behind this big wide building, the second building is a restaurant, but there's also the casino there. So, I showed you the place where you throw your money away, <laughs> unless you're really, really lucky, you know, and you can win millions. <laughs> so, another nice picture taking place of the castle. Castle, castle. And I guess 500, 600 more meters, and we'll have, we will have done the whole circle around the lake blade. So, yeah, six more kilometers. So. I did 10 kilometers today. And if you want to see the camping place that's close to here, watch my previous video. Uh, it's like five star camping, really, it has five stars. And <laughs> walk around the lake bed. Uh, six kilometers. Ooh. I'm big, I'm big. <laughs> Nice blue flowers. Blue, 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 blue. Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> I don't know the name of these flowers. Not even in Slovenia. 
have no idea in English as well. <laughs> and here you have more of these blue flowers. They're actually look nice. Can we catch the blue flowers with the castle? <laughs> nice pick. <laughs> Almost done, almost done. More birdies leaving this tree. Very low birdies. Another nice view. blue flowers and if you take this right path you will get to the city center if you take the left one you continue by the shore so behind there in the city center there's like shopping area with bars, restaurants, they even have a disco there, I think, and a food store, and souvenirs, stuff like that. Clothes, shoes, whatever. So if you want to get toboganing, you go there. Adventure park is there. Fitness trail is there. On the right. But we are continuing here. So this is Grand Hotel Toplitze. Toplitze means thermal baths. And it has four stars. And this will be a nice picture taking point here of the castle if you want, of the lake. So here you go. So yeah, let's go. One. Oh, you see here, this is the other place where you can Take the boat to take you to to the island. From here, the electric boat also goes, which I think is cheaper. But if you take the traditional platna, it's a bit more expensive, I think. Parking place is somewhere here. Oh, here, 
you can get the lake, <laughs> the island, and the castle in one picture. Take a right, so we'll get it to city center. Up here, there's the like, like the mall I told you before, and this path goes continues around the lake. And up there, there's the casino in that building. This building. So here we can take another nice picture with the boats and the castle. Something like that. So these are the traditional Platna boats with a one-man horsepower. <laughs> the boat mafia. <laughs> and there's the electric one. I just see, I think they have a schedule at what time they leave. They leave when they're full or happy with the amount of guests. But the electric e boat, they have a different schedule 10, 11, 12, 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6 o'clock the last boat. Adults, 12 euro per person. That one, I think, at least 20. And up here, they have a restaurant and they have good Kremschnitta cake, but it's quite pricey here. I told you if you want to have Kremschnitta, the same quality, but cheaper, you find some sweet shops in the city or just in bakeries. They also sell it, sell it in bakeries here. But you must try this cake if you come to Blade. Because it's, I don't know, one of the things you have to try. <laughs> That's the hunch. But we're so close to the car. <laughs> now we have like some strange animals, little frogs, chameleon. I have animal show. Not my kind of animals. I like them with the fur. <laughs> and here, last view of the lake. There we have like bars and restaurants on this street in the middle. And I have another boat house. That is not really new, I think, but it just looks nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, lots of algae here. My God. We should clean this up. There, you have written blit with the flowers. And I think. That is the town hall, maybe? I'm not sure about that. But yeah. So 
of like a churchy thingy boathouse. Uh, here we have we have a selfie point <laughs> with a heart and the locust bit behind it. And uh, you target the <laughs> the island behind, you know. And uh, you have a perfect selfie. a small park here this park was made in 1890 by a Swedish architect Carl Gustav Svinson <laughs> it says there <laughs> I'm not making it up <laughs> and picture time And here we conclude our walking tour around the Blade Lake. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope now you know all the good selfie points. <laughs> uh, so, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done it so before. And put a comment, put a comment down. And see you next time. Take care. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you subscribe to my channel, put a like there and see you next time.